this is a new machine we just uh, installed not too long ago. Got it up and going probably two or three weeks ago. So it's known as a military machine and has a bar feeder. It's kind of a combination mill, lathe. It will constantly advance the, your workpiece and your stock. You can do lathe work, you can also do mill work. And it has a, a vice feature that allows you to cut the part off and work on the back side of the part. This vice here will open and close and rotate. So the gist of the machine is that it will produce complete parts when programmed correctly and keep feeding bar stock so there's little user intervention required. It will make a very complete part, not a lot of fixturing, very little fixturing involved. And it's great for relatively small parts. Uh, some examples are these nose caps we made on there. And it did a great job on the nose caps. Very efficient. And these sights were made on there. And they did just a super job. And so this on the back is from when it so, gets yeah, cut so off. Yeah, so this has been cut off. We didn't work the back face of this part. So if we would have wanted to, we could have probably grabbed it in the vise, flipped it over, and machined that off. But it's um, so minimal that it's just as easy just to snip it off with snippers and then hit it on a, a sanding disc. So that's the the simplest way and fastest way to make this part. And how long does that part take right now? It's about a five minute cycle on this machine. Before, were we making those at all on any machine? So we started casting these originally and the cast quality is not that great. Molds wear, castings are not always that great. And then we started machining them uh, maybe six months ago. We started machining them. We were doing it on a a big vertical machine with the fourth axis. You know, for various reasons, this, this machine is much more efficient. So it's gonna make um, a lot of different parts. So nose caps, ramrod pipes, entry pipes, um, tumblers, bridles, sears, front sights, probably some springs. So there'll be a lot of different parts that are made on this machine. And uh, yeah, it's been going very, very good. So that's a tool holder. Uh, it's called part, parts to part off, so it cuts the part off. It's a lathe tool. How do you feel about the Mazak? Do you think you'll get Mazak again? Yeah, the Mazak, I think it's a good, good machine. We don't have any Mazaks other than this, this one. It's a good machine. The ordering process, the setup process, is a little slow and a little tedious. Um, but it seems to be a very well-built, solid machine. Japanese machine. So the Japanese and the Germans make the the best CNC machines. Okay, we're we'll be making a machining a tumbler for a round face lock during this cycle. It's not 100 percent programmed, but um, you'll be able to see a lot of the process here. We can run without pulling right now just so we can see the machining process. Doing some lathe work right now. Changing the tool. Doing a little finish pass on, on the part of the small axle of the tumbler. Now this is the Bill, so it's going to start cutting out the shape of the tumbler. These are called adaptive or tricoidal, I believe, uh, tool passes. Usually calls it an adaptive tool pass. So it roughs it out basically pretty quickly. Cutting a little clearance behind the tumbler for some subsequent operations. There's an 
shave them smooth, it'll refine the shape a little more. Find a clear spot on the window, there we go. This is, of course, bar fed a mill turn, and it's also five axis since it has this this head that can move around. So you get one axis through your lathe spindle, you can position parts, you get another axis, it's called the B axis, through the, the mill spindle that can rotate, which you'll see happen. So now it's cutting the tumbler notches. Index to a different position, we'll cut the notch again. So it really is a perfect machine to make parts like this on. Parts that are machined like this are so far superior to cast parts, there's no, no even comparison. This cutter is cutting the half cock notch. It takes a special form tool. We're still working with this machine a little bit. It has some pauses here and there that we're trying to eliminate to increase cycle time or decrease cycle time. Put it on the notches a little bit more. I'm cutting very slowly on the foot of the tumbler. That's the area that the mainspring ride because that finish is very critical in terms of how the lock feels. Not necessarily for how the lock functions, but for how it feels. If you have any any irregularities in that surface, the lock is very rough. So now it's drilling a hole, a tiny little drill for the fly pivot point. So drill that hole. Now it's going to mill out the fly pocket. Green that hole first. Now the fly pocket is being cut with an eighth inch tool. Then it'll come back with a sixteenth inch tool to refine the, the fly pocket. talk about you know, the locks that we make and, and I sometimes even uh, talk about other manufacturers' products. And this is sort of an example where you might get to see the difference in care that's taken. You know, this, this equipment is, is used to make aerospace parts, medical parts typically, and there, there's no comparison to, to some of the other manufacturing techniques. Very, very expensive equipment, but it makes great parts. It uh, does pay for itself through efficiency and quality. So now the, what's called a parting tool, a lathe tool, is going to start cutting the, the axle from the, the large axle of the tumbler. Okay without coolant? It'll be okay. We're still working through a few things. The chips are a little stringier than they, you might hope. But it's coming along well. That shaft is now formed, the, the large diameter shaft on the tumbler. I was going to start with a finish tool and just cut a little smaller radius in the corner and refine that shape a little bit. Seems there are little chips caught on it, but that's no big deal. If you run coolant, it'll blow any residual chips off. You can't see 
see it all in there. So now this is going to be a tool that cuts the square shaft on the tumbler. Got ahead of myself. There it is. Okay, now it's going to cut the square shaft. I'm angling the head because that shaft is at a slight angle. That's the, the square where the hawk fits onto the tumbler. So positioning and a few extra movements there that will get worked out. side of the part so it'll get drilled and tapped for the, the tumbler screw, etc. But the, most of the, uh, the part has been the sheet. We'll pick it out of there and we'll take a look at it. Sometimes hard to see these I know, but it looks very nice from what I can see. You can see the little notches cut. Now, as mentioned, there's going to be a hole drilled and tapped here, and uh, there'll be the back side will be deburred, chamfered deburred. So it's coming along well. How long have you guys had the machine? We've been, we've been using it about maybe three weeks, I think. So Justin here is our programmer. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Uh, we both do some programming, but he's taking on more of the responsibility now and doing a great job. Uh, so he'll be working the rest of the day trying to set up the process for doing the, the back side of the part and hopefully then, uh, probably by Monday, we'll be running the whole process. So we, we need some tumblers and it's an efficient way to do it and we'll be eager to get it get it rolling on them. Today we're making these tumblers on, on a vertical machine with a fourth axis. And it works okay, but again, it takes not the most efficient process and it takes two steps, two setups in order to make a tumbler. This machine will be able to do it in one setup and it'll have the finished part when it exits the machine. Will there be any difference in the finish quality that you're getting off of this machine versus This machine the other? seems to be doing a little better in terms of finish. And I think consistency, I think it'll be a little more consistent this process. It's just the nature of the process we're using and the capabilities of the machine. 